Lesson 1.1b, Expressing Decimals as Rational Numbers. We can express terminating decimals and repeating decimals as rational numbers. We can write a decimal as a fraction in simplest form. If we have 12 hundredths, we just write the 12 as the numerator over 100 as the denominator. We can divide the numerator and denominator by 4 to write it in its simplest form as 3 25ths. For 33 hundredths, we just write the 33 over 100. Here we have the decimal 0 0.085. If you remember your place values of your decimals, we can see the 5 ends in the thousandths place. We write 85 over 1,000. 85 is a numerator and 1,000 is the denominator. Now we simplify the fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor, the GCF. The factors of 85 are 1, 5, 17, and 85, and the factors of 1,000, well, we have quite a few, don't we? Their greatest common factor would be 5. That's their GCF. We divide the 85 numerator by 5 and the 1,000 denominator by 5, and we get 17 two hundredths. So, 85 thousandths is equal to 17 two hundredths in simplest form. Now this one's a little trickier. We have 0 0.23 and this 2,3 with the bar over the top means it's repeating. That means it's equal to 0 0.232323 and it continues on in which the 2,3 repeats. This is a repeating decimal, sometimes referred to as a non-terminating decimal. So we have terminating decimals that stop at a specific place value and non-terminating decimals that will continue on with repeating digits. We can let x equal the 0 0.23 that repeats. And since it has two repeating digits, we'll multiply each side of the equation by 10 to the second power, or 100. This means 10 times 10, doesn't it? We multiply x by 100, and we multiply the 0 0.23 that repeats by 100. That's going to give us 100x is equal to 23.23 with this repeating. Now, we can subtract x from one side and the 0 0.23 that's repeating from the other side at the same time. We subtract the x here, and we subtract this repeating 0 0.23 from here. Now, do you remember that 100x means 100 times some number? And if we have 100x's and we take one of those x's away, we're going to have 99x's left, aren't we? That's going to give us 99x is equal to 23. We took away this part. Now we just have 99x is equal to 23. Now we solve the equation for x by dividing both sides of the equation by the coefficient of x, which is 99. We're right here. So we're going to divide both sides of the equation by this pink 99 coefficient. 99 divided by 99, same numerator and denominator, is going to give us a 1. So we have 1x here. and we have 23 99ths on this side, and we simplify if necessary. A decimal can be written as a rational number if it's a terminating or repeating decimal. We can use place value to write a terminating decimal as a fraction with a power of 10 as the denominator. So remember, 10 to the first power is equal to 10. 10 to the second power, that's 10 times 10, that's 100. 10 to the third power means 10 times 10 times 10, that's 1,000. So here we have 0 0.52, that's 52 hundredths. So it's like saying 52 as the numerator and 10 to the second power as the denominator. That would be 52 hundredths. We can divide the numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor, 4, and get 13 25ths in simplest form. We can write an improper fraction, also known as a fraction greater than 1, as a decimal. We have 7 fifths. We can write it with 100 as its denominator. We think to ourselves, 5 times something is 100. Well, that would be 5 times 20. We multiply the numerator by the same thing. We have 7 times 20. That would be 140 hundredths. 
since the decimal ends in the hundredths place, we have hundredths, that means we're going to have 1.40 with the zero in the hundredths place. It's 1 and 40 hundredths. So remember the decimal point is read as and when we read this. We have 1 and 40 hundredths. If we do our calculations on a graphing calculator, we need to enter our repeating decimal correctly to convert the decimal to a fraction. So before, remember we had 0 0.23 and the 23 repeated. This must be entered as 0 0.23232323232323. Notice we repeated it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we enter it into our graphing calculator like this, then we'll have entered it correctly in order to convert the decimal to a fraction. For writing decimals as mixed numbers, here we have 2 and 7 tenths. We have 2 as our whole number and 7 tenths as the fraction part. Here we have 1 and 2 tenths. We have 1 and 2 tenths. And we can simplify this by dividing the numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor, 2. We get 1 and 1 fifth. So remember to write it in its simplest form. Here we have 4 and 23 hundredths, where the 2 and the 3 are repeating. Again, we let x equal 0 0.23 with the bar over the top. And we just set the whole number 4 aside until we write the 0 0.23 as a fraction. And we multiply each side by 100. Then we subtract x and the 0 0.23 from both sides and get our 99x is equal to 23. We divide both sides by the coefficient 99 and this makes a 1, same numerator and denominator. We have x is equal to 23 99ths. Now we just put the 4 back on that we had set aside. We know that it's equal to 4 and 23 99ths. We're finished with 1.1b. We're going to be moving on to the third part, 1.1c, finding square roots and cube roots. I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you join me for the next part of the lesson, and have a wonderful day. Bye.